Hello, people. This is uh, Horace Plaster. We're going to be uh, building a fast, a very fast S1 rear wheel drive endurance car today. Obviously, not this thing. It's this thing in the run. But it is rear wheel drive. And, uh, that's what we're going to be trying to do today. Not this one. Something that goes fast and can corner. And, uh, You've arrived at your destination. Gotten pretty good at that. Not with this car, because it's a drag car, but you know the deal. We're gonna do a how to, so why not? Anyways, I've picked a car that I want to try. I have not tried it yet, but I looked at it, it should work pretty well. And this goes for all cars, but um, rear engine cars are better, but we're going to try front engine car, because that's what I started off with. And um, they're generally cheaper in Forza. This one isn't that cheap, but, you know. Okay, first off, we're going to start off with uh, the tires. Obviously, if you're going to do endurance or circuit, whatever, you want to do this like race tire because um it gives you more grip than these uh these semi slicks that you can get these look cooler but these do the job better and i can say that because i've tested it not on here maybe i'll do it at some point but of course you want all the handling mods so we're going to do suspension in a minute too you want better space wheels so you can get a better turning radius. Um, if we have um, enough room to upgrade it, we'll go put some cooler wheels on it and lighter wheels or whatever, so less rotating mass. Yes, that applies in Forza. But we also want um, our arrow mods just so that we have adjustable arrow. You know, it's kind of stupid that Forza does, for so doesn't give you more, but, you know, it's a game. Obviously, transmission mods, because we're going to have some good power. Um, six speed if you can, because we're going to do really short gearing anyway, so we're not going to use, probably not going to use all six, six gears. But we're going to see, aren't we? Um, like I said, all the handling mods. Uh, race springs generally because when you do drift springs you get a whole bunch of camber up in the front and it likes to uh, well it likes, it likes to drift so it just spins is it going to spin anyways? a little bit but if you're really going to play this game a lot you're going to learn how to how to counter steer out of that we might go back and put a cage in it because the cage helps with um, helps with handling it distributes the weight better and it also stiffens the chassis up in real life and in this game apparently but next because we have all next is the uh, powertrain mods now let me see what uh, we're gonna so we're gonna want the most power we can get because if we're going to do high speed, you know, we're going to do high speed. And uh, the 2J is probably probably the best, best option. <laughs> I do like my, my V8 6.2, but this game is stupid. And you can not uh, make it have more horsepower than the 2J, which in real life it would. But, yeah. Uh, obviously... Oh, I have not been paying attention. But we're going to do S1, so not a turbo. Uh, not a block either, okay. Uh, we're going to try to get it as high as we can with not going, without going to S2. So I might just go put some wheels on it to make it S2. So... Or should I go put a cage in it? Let's see.
This is going to be hard balancing it. Good stats all the way up. Okay, we're going to do this and put a cage in it all the way. And then we're going to go take this, this away. And dang. This is harder than I remember. Um, we're going to take the cage down like that. gonna try that. Let's look at this first. We're gonna look at those stats a little bit. Compare them, you know. They're kind of the same. This we get more power on that. That's that might be a little better. Yeah, we're gonna do that. We can't do the turbo because it would just blow it right over. But you guys can, whoever's watching this, can do it a little bit differently. But you get the gist. You want the most horsepower for high, for top speed. That's what horsepower is good for. Unless you're in all-wheel drive, then horsepower will really get you off the line. In rear-wheel drive, you're gonna struggle with that, but you'll get used to it if you really want to play with rear-wheel drive. I like rear-wheel drive because it gives me a challenge. And um, on the long straightaway races, I will outrun all-wheel drive cars all day long, period. Uh, so just off the gist, we're going to do this. We're going to lengthen the gearing so we get a better, better launch time. Because um, that's good and all, but you're going to spin every single time in first. We're going to... It's going to pre pretty much be a four-speed. Four-speed trans instead of a six-speed. But... Or a three-speed. Let's see. I like to I like to get my RPMs matched right up so we get get about the same horsepower so we don't get about the same uh, power band right in there. Uh, stiffen these up a little bit. It helps out. We're looking again. We're looking at all these stats right here. So we're gonna try to get the highest top speed we can out of this. Because um, that matters. So 220 or 218 would probably be good. But we're going to turn all this up. So it's going to be a little lower probably. Yeah, a little lower. Um, yeah. We might turn it down a little bit. We're gonna make this about halfway, so we hit, we don't spin as much. Um, so you do this in a drag car too. You stiffen up the front, and then, um, yeah. Let's Okay, we are gonna do this. Wait, let me compare it. I didn't see it. Brakes are so touchy in this game. Like, I don't even normally touch these, but because it gives you different specs every single time, even if you put it right back, because that was 91 a minute ago. We're going to try this out. And then we're going to take it on a race to prove it. And if this one doesn't work, I'll just show show a good tune that I spent like a day tuning. Just because I got bored that day. Of 
corners pretty well. And with these cars, because they're rear wheel drive, you, you can, if you turn them yourself, you can uh, take all the arrow off, or you can do it with the arrow. Go change your, your mods up a little bit, not spend all your money if you're sort of clicking on the team, and uh, drift a little. Like, like that. On this car, you don't even have to. Let's take it to a drift zone, why not? Okay. Might be a little too gripped up, but still fun. Now, I'm not the greatest driver because I'm on controller, um, which is no excuse, but obviously it handles pretty pretty well. You just gotta modulate. It's very drivable. Rear engine car would be a little bit better than this, but this is this is pretty good for for a front engine car. It's not like fast, the fastest high top speed I've seen. I I tuned my Dodge Dart to do 240 in S1, and it would beat this thing all day. to uh, tune a S1 circuit car for rear wheel drive for high speed. I might post a uh, separate video of uh, this thing racing on my track that I made. Pretty much a copy of the Goliath but with some uh, other things. But yeah, that would be it. Have a good night everyone.